So Ford Ranger XLT. This is a 2002 six cylinder extended cab, six foot bed. The purpose of this video is I need to change the spark plugs. This is a 3.0 or known as 3.0 engine. Now, as I did the research on YouTube for spark plug removal, they've always show how to remove a spark plug. So they always tackle the easy one. They take the simplest one out, tell you how to do it. And that's it. And they say, do the rest for it all. That's not what I was looking for. I was looking for the quickest, fastest, and the safest way to remove these. I found that there's the front, the mid, and the rear, the firewall, were all semi-easy, I mean, give or take, kind of easy to remove, except the front one was you have to move your hand in and get through the tight spots, bust a couple knuckles, but I was able to remove them. Now on this 3.0 engine, I found this opposite side nearly difficult to get to and it was i couldn't get to the back of the firewall i couldn't get even through the midsection i couldn't get through the front so this is an automatic keep in mind this is not for a stick shift but an automatic the stick shift would probably be a lot easier now let me tell you how i did this since no videos are showing us i had to remove the air filter top uh, box of this with the uh sensors you didn't have to remove any of that you just pop it up and it removes moves to the side and take out the air filter and there's the box you didn't notice this box has a male uh i want to call it a tab but there were supposed to be two of them i broke one well let me show you how i did this there's the females two of them that the plugs go into on the wall on the passenger side of the wall two more that plunges in i had to pry it out which led to me snapping one arm look how long those things are that's pretty deep well i had a snap one but finally i removed it i'm sad i broke it but I had to figure out a way to do this. After I did that, I had to remove the water reservoir, which of course the windshield wiper fluid, along with the radiator coolant, the whole line. Now on this, you're gonna find that there's a there's it's against the the wheel well wall. One screw, two screws, three screw, and on the bottom four screws to remove this. You have to unplug the uh, terminal. The electrical terminal and of course the the feed line on both to the windshield wiper fluid and to the radiator so once I removed the air box the coolant here I was able to get a big open area saying okay maybe I can still do this the answer is no on this this is an automatic and that's the transmission dipstick you'll see that the dipstick only had one bolt holding the dipstick into the tranny and uh, you just grab it, unbolt it, pop it up, and it comes out. Put it somewhere where there's no dirt so you don't want to get that on your dipstick. Don't put it on the ground like the way I did. Anyways, if you come over here, this is where the bolt is located. I'm putting my hand beneath it so there's a little. You're able to see what the bolt looks like. It's right above. As you can see, here's the, uh, the pump. You'll see because the dipstick's right here. But there's definitely the bolt on top. Once you remove that bolt, pull the dipstick out, and now guess what? We're clear, free to move about. Now, you can get to the the spark plug on the opposite side, passenger side, which I named those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3 is not the firing order. I'm just numbering the plugs, that's all. So, 4, 5, and 6, and you're able to get these spark plugs out. After I had done this, I realized there's another solution. I was looking at this plastic. When I got to the bottom, I said, oh, I don't believe it. There was a way to get through underneath, through the wheel well. You had to take off a bolt that was from the top, which I don't think you can see this where my finger's at. That's one. There's two. Where is it at? Two. Three on the other side. Now, there's one right at this trimming. One on the trimming where my finger's at and one on the other side of the trimming. So, keep in mind, trimming and trimming and then... Make sure you remove your tire, put it on a jack stand so it's safe. The plastic will pop down. And guess what? Look at how easy I could reach right in there with my hand. So I guess I really didn't have to disconnect both or either one of these. I'm just giving you an idea how to do this. I couldn't find no videos on YouTube, so I thought I'd help you out with your problem. If you have a 3.0, a 3.0, six-cylinder, an automatic and it's difficult to get to it. After removing these spark plugs, I found that this person who owned this vehicle 
could could not get to the spark plugs and had the original spark plugs on this side of the block from probably when they first bought this vehicle it was this probably explains why it was running so bad well 3.0 i hope this video helps you out either you go to the, the bottom or through the top if you go to the bottom please put a video up on it so we could we could see what you went through and probably be fast and you could probably out also help somebody else out who uh, needs a fast safe way to do this so i hope this video helps you out